Here is a medium power view of a hyperchromatic crowded cell group. Now this cell group is actually quite small when you compare it to the adjacent squamous cell and it's got this lobulated outline which immediately makes you think of glandular cells. When we see small groups of atypical cells with this appearance, we must always think of endometrial cells because they tend to shed rather than um, being scraped off directly. So usually the cell groups are small and fairly degenerate. So let's take a closer look. And again, when we focus up and down, we appreciate that this cell group seems to be slightly in a different plane of focus from the squamous cells. And that is yet another feature of endometrial cells. So uh, we can appreciate that there seem to be a lot of smaller cells here and some of them have got multi-lobed nuclei. These are neutrophils. So they're neutrophils within the cytoplasm of some of these atypical glandular cells. And what we really want to look at are the nuclei. So we need to focus up and down look at the nuclei to determine if they are enlarged. The normal size of the whole endometrial cell should be no larger than the nucleus of an intermediate squamous cell. Here is another cell group and if you look at this nucleus as it comes in and out of focus, it is quite abnormal because it is enlarged. Um, sometimes we are able to see prominent nucleoli. This would tell us that we are dealing with at least atypical glandular cells of endometrial origin or agus em and here is another cell group and here we can actually see that the nuclei are quite large and just about can appreciate prominent nucleoli at the same time we can see the neutrophils and degenerate cell material within the cytoplasm and finally um, the last group that I'm going to show here shows quite an abnormal nucleus for an endometrial cell. Uh, we can see definitely a prominent nucleolus here. So overall, the features seen here are those of atypical glandular cells, endometrial in nature, and usually we would want to recommend um, examination of the endometrium either with a pipel or a curating. And possible outcomes could be uh, benign endometrial cells on histology. They could be endometrial polyps or endometrial hyperplasia or even endometrial carcinoma.